Hey everybody, welcome back for another part of Final Fantasy 3. And as you can see, we got ourselves a Dark Knight going. And we have to make our way south to Goldmore because we need to get that ship unlocked. Kinda can't really go anywhere without it. Kinda need that. Hey, it's Mini Derpies Red Dragon. Uh, let's go with normal stuff. Uh, I don't think I get to heal anywhere. I could be wrong, but I really don't think there's any way to get my magic back, so I'm not gonna spam hers. She's a white mage anyways, which is more for healing, so yeah. Also, I did a little bit of a microphone change around here, so I may sound a little bit different for a while. I'm still trying to get it all back in line. You know what? Keep it on auto battle. We know we can kill him with Geomancers. And slowly but surely, getting dragon job levels will definitely help. Well, getting job levels on all of them help, but yeah, the uh, the physical guys especially. Because you wind up doing more damage the higher uh, job level you get. Earthquake! That's a new one, actually. We haven't seen that yet. I'm really digging that Geomancer. I did not think I would have that much love for a Geomancer in this version, and... Yeah, I've been proven wrong. And here's why we needed the Levagrass shoes. That would kill you otherwise. And there's our manor. Oh, it's so pretty. Anyways, I think these are all useless. Oh yeah, gold bears. Jack Nicholas. We get to fight the uh, the golden bear himself here, it seems. Woo! Too shy of the perfect damage. Damn it. So close. Wow, we are stupid over leveled, it feels like. Like, if they're not even going to get a turn, it feels like we are stupid over leveled right now. But here comes the part of the game where... Every step you take, you wind up risking actually getting yourself in another battle that may or may not kill you. It does get evil. When you guys see the last tower, the last... Well, okay, you'll, if you've ever played 14, you know the Crystal Tower? Yeah, that's where we're going. Can you get off of the fucking keyboard, honey? Jesus Christ, kitten. You are the most destructive force on Earth today. Hurricanes have nothing on you. I don't know if you can hear her back there or not, but she is just trying to literally murder everything today. That cat is insane. Yeah, no, don't eat the fucking microphone cable either. Oh my god, honey. Seriously, there's limits to what you should and shouldn't do, and you've crossed so many of them today. You know, cats have nine lives. My guess would be she's actually already on her last. She's, she's really done stupid shit. And now she's underneath my hands because... <laughs> there we go. There's a good girl. There's my good girl. There's Tabby. <laughs> hey, we can sell that. That's only worth money. Golden Sword's a piece of shit. Those are literally just piles of trash. But they're worth good cash. And we have four of them. Make that five. Make that six. Uh, make that seven. Make that eight. Make that nine. Make that ten. I think that's it. Nope, I'm wrong. There are 12. Nope, 11 of them, and then we get wiring claws, which are actually, like, the one thing that you should grab out of there. But I want free money, so... Also, purple swords. I know what those are, because I've played through the game, but yeah. Yeah, that's about it. You know what I love, too, about the, uh, the new monitor I have? It's a 27-inch Asus 144Hz uh, monitor. Tabby can actually see everything going on on the screen now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's Tabby making noises as she moves my microphone. Hi, baby. Hey. Oh, please don't. She's between me and the microphone now. Hi. All right, I'll hug you. She's climbed up on my shoulder now. <laughs> Hi, baby. You smell like your food.
I've been sitting here for like two hours before this too. The second that I go like recording is when she does this. <laughs> I'm sorry if I sound very distant, but y'all know how it is with a cat. I love you too. Hello. I love you too. Love you too, baby. You are a sweetheart. Wait, this is the wrong room. Hopefully you can hear her purring every now and then. Yeah. Wanna lay down? Can you lay down for me? Because you're blocking my Thank you. Oh, she just vaulted off of me. So yeah, we're back. Hi. Good to see you again. <laughs> Alright. Now that my microphone is completely in my way, let me also reorganize where this is. <laughs> she had to move it so she could sit on my chest there. I love that cat. I just... She goes from being just like the absolute most distraught. That is the first room. Holy shit. Okay, yeah, that was wrong. By the way, I bought a shitload of magic keys, so I'm not going to bother switching in a thief. But if you have a thief as the uh, the first character here, then they can open all these doors for you. Like I said, I'm not bothering with it just because. I mean, I have like, I think I have 12. Pretty sure I have 12. That's a big sword, dude. Also, did you get the hilt of it to match your hair by... Actually, you know what? I don't want to know how you did that. I don't think I need to know. The door is locked. Oh, no! Uh, magic keys. There they are. I do have 12. Somehow I remembered that. This is days later after buying those. This place is a bitch to figure out at first, because you're opening, like, all these doors. If you don't have a thief, you're like, fuck, I'm gonna buy magic keys. The first playthrough, I didn't know thieves could do that. So I bought a shitload of magic keys, not knowing. <laughs> and then somebody in my channel's like, um, dude, why don't you just have a thief? What do you mean? Like, uh, just put a thief in the first spot and try to open that door. Oh, fuck. Did it, and I'm like, oh my god, I feel like an idiot. I didn't even try it. Didn't even think to try it. Nothing. I should probably heal. That's really good experience for how easy these are. So I found my farm spot if I need... Which, again, kinda don't, but if I needed it, I found my farm spot. Where do you go? Oh. Just back in there. Never mind, didn't see the walkthrough before. <laughs> See, and the good thing is, with that blood sword on the, uh, the, the Dark Knight, I really don't have to worry about healing him ever. Luna, that is. Anything up this walkway? Most likely not. I'm guessing I could just cut through every time. But, I don't remember, and I don't have a map open. So, I'm just kind of, I'm wandering the halls. There's no reason not to. I mean... Watch us one round, two golden bears. Ooh, maybe not. Okay, good. I'm gonna say, if they kill off the, uh, the Geomancer, I take back what I just said. But we're good. Barely. But we're good. No pun intended. I just realized what I said. <sighs> I hate when I do that. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Bare uh, Jesus. That was worse than the Jack Nicholas reference. Like, even I'm willing to admit that. That was bad. Alright, what's... Oop, cutscene time. I didn't realize we were here already. That's a really short... quote-unquote dungeon? Area, I guess? You will not take my crystal. Instead, you'll take a sound thrashing. I love gold. I should've healed more. Hi, honey. How are you? Tabby's back. What does Soul Eater do to him, out of curiosity? Uh, that's microphone stand, baby. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Just in case, let's huck a Cura. Let's see what Terrain does. Ow. Glad I threw a Cura. 
Oh, Jesus, God. Yeah, sit down, buddy. Sit down. That did... Oh, it did something. Okay. Thought we didn't have any damage from it. Like, oh, man. Dude, this guy's only got 8,000 health. Quit moving the microphone, baby. Thank you. No, human, I must sit right where it is. Honey, that's a microphone. Stop it. Seriously, what has gotten into you today? Good God. That was her claw on the mic. No, don't sign. No. I wonder if that hurts terrain. Oh, that could be bad. Whatever, it's gonna be like two more rounds and he'll be dead anyways. Uh, that was pointless because he's too low a level of a dragoon. Let's try doing this to me on the safe side. Can I terrain still? Apparently, yes. Which doesn't shock me, it's not exactly magic. So, I shouldn't be too shocked by this. He might die next round, actually, I think. Aw, oh, man. Never mind, he threw Protect up. Son of a bitch. Actually, you know what? Soul Eater. That may go through Protect. I doubt it, but it might. I don't have to spell or anything. Like, I really only have three levels of spells. I've got nothing else I can throw at him there. So let's try Arrow. He doesn't have any weaknesses, but we don't really have to worry that much. I just have to do a little bit more damage. Oh, that is bad. Ooh, she lived. Nice. Refia will live. <laughs> Never mind, that was a bad idea. Yeah, that bypasses protect. That's what I thought. Soul Eater gets right through the Protect. Awesome. Dark Knights are OP, even at, like, low job levels. It was barely more than a normal fight. Sometimes the bosses just do not feel really, really frightening at all. Oops. Didn't mean to click through that, sorry. Well, if I can't do it, neither will you! <laughs> Wait, what? Why would you do? No, don't. Why would you break that, you prick? Wait, he broke it. If I can't have the crystal, neither will you, is what he said, basically. The crystal is mine. <laughs> By the heavens, what's going to happen to the world now? we got to make our exit and find out. Wait, first things first. Let's acquire this key that he just happened to drop on the ground and had this glint to it to make you realize it's there and then get our ship back from its bonds. Damn right. Yeah, whatever you do, don't leave that key. Because you can't really do anything else, so... Now, the real fun with it is how quickly you, you, like, you get it back, and then depending on where you go, you can immediately, and I do mean immediately, lose control of it again. <laughs> Like, it's, it's pretty frightening how fast that will happen. But, we may try to get some quote-unquote side questing, if you will, whatever you want to call it, in. I don't know how to really phrase that any better, but we're going to go around and try to grab some stuff before we get totally screwed. Jesus. Slightly broken. Why am I going north? I could just cast teleport to get out of here as well, but again, later on, the more experience and levels you have, obviously the better off you'll be. There's literally no reason not to just walk out. I explain that all the time, but yeah, I'm sure by now, if you've played Final Fantasy or watched it enough, you know full well that that is exactly the case. Oh, Tabby, quit destroying everything, please. Tabitha. Oh, God damn it. Tabby. 
Tabitha. Thank you. Sorry I have to keep yelling in your ear, but this cat just does not understand today. I'm just glad she knows her name now. Of course, the only time she responds to that is when I'm yelling it, and otherwise I have to be like, Gabby, and speak like that so she knows I'm not pissed at her. This is literally the only other time she hears her name is when I'm yelling. <laughs> She's not exactly a good kid most of the time. <laughs> Wait, those have bad breath. Interesting. Ah, freedom. Sweet, sweet freedom. All right, let's go actually heal up and everything too. I don't think I have to buy anything else. Not that there won't be a hell of a lot of other stuff to buy in the very, very near future. So I should probably just save all the money. No reason to go spending. Ah, slept like a log. Alright, let's go quote-unquote side quest here. Er, wrong way. So, let's go grab our ship. Thank God we have this back. Let's get the hell off this island. Continent, probably? It's not really so much an island. Whatever. Get in the boat. The banana boat. I really wish that flew higher, too, because it's really stupid that that doesn't go over there. Anyways, um, let's see. Don't go northwest, basically, which is... How far away are we from it? Oh, we're way away from where Cerrone is at. Okay, cool. Um, for those of, like, like I was saying, basically, the, the big open spot in the northwest there is, like, you're done for a while. You're going to be there. So, anyways, um, let's see. We're going to the middle. But yeah, that's where your story will advance, and yeah, kind of, sort of don't get to use the ship for long. So that's why we're going to take full, full advantage here. How far away are we? Whoa, went too far. There you are. It's the most convoluted way to land an airship ever. Just saying. Or put it down in the water, then get out. Really? Ooh, you got some stuff. Uh, kind of sort of need some helmets here. Uh, speaking of you have some stuff, everybody can wear it, so... <laughs> Let me take one more so that Ark's got some defense finally. Feathered hat's actually better than pretty much everything we got here. Now I don't have weaknesses to uh, to ice, and they get immensely more. Where is it? That one. They get immensely more defense, which is super super nice. Mind you, I spent all my money, so hopefully there's no spells here, because I already know it's mostly just barred weaponry in there. Case in point. Listen to the beginning of that song again and tell me you don't hear dust in the wind. Think this through. Ready? Right? 
you cannot hear this now, right? <laughs> it's dust in the wind. That's totally the first, like, here we are. That's totally, that's, it's totally dust in the wind. Once again. Oh, different guy. <laughs> this is the sound when you get items. Yeah, thanks. Jesus, these guys. Uh, we have an in, but we don't have magic here. Correct, correct, correct. I don't see magic anywhere. Dust in the Wind version 4.0. God damn it. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see, where are we gonna go here? Uh, let's see. Say what? It was actually a freaking. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Anyway, sorry I'm taking so long to do this, but. So now we gotta get relatively close to Seronia, but hopefully not actually go to Seronia. Yeah, like, don't go in that castle. <laughs> That's a huge town. Don't go in there, trust me. Oh, where the hell is Repleto from here? I don't remember where the fuck I'm going. Da, 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 da. There it is. I think. Can I not land in rivers, apparently? Cheap. Also, I don't care about my beast here being complete, but there is apparently a sea dragon that only shows up right about now. Well, it's because it's literally the only time that you can do this. Vulcan a Magnet again, Kapow. Holy shit, we do have new stuff. My first date with Mrs. Sid. Oh god, I don't need to know about this. I took Mrs. Sid to a village named Gashal. They had some good greens. The end, Sid. Okay, wow, that's... <clears throat> Actually, I wonder if that'll pop up the other one. No, it won't. Again, I'm doing those for side quests later on. It'll make much more sense when we get there. One of them's actually already unlocked. Why the fuck are we here? There it is. Uh, let's see. <laughs> we can summon Chocobo. Shiva, Rama, Afrit, Titan. Gee, do you think we're getting a summoner of some sort? By the way, Titan's name is Hyper. Fucking lol. Um, I, I've always found that funny. Multiple reasons. Twitch Twitch uh, personality, and then uh, also just the name. I mean, like, the fact that he's named Hyper is, is fucking weird to me. So Noah once lived on the doll continent, but he passed away long ago. Fair enough. Leviathan and Bahamut were sealed away by the great Noah himself. You damn well better be good if you're sealing away Bahamut. This is basically the, the village of the summoners, if you haven't figured this out yet. Alright, where else are we going? Uh, so, basically, from here on out, it's Seronia. I've got nothing else I can buy right here, because... But I do have... Do I have evokers yet? I'm gonna say, I don't have evokers. I could be wrong. Yes, I do have evokers. I take back what I just said. Um, so those spells were for evokers. They're kind of like summons, but they're random effects, and they're honestly not that good. Let's let's be real, they're just not that good. <laughs> so on that note, we're going to go ahead and call this episode here. We'll head to uh, Seronia next time, and we'll continue on with the main story. So catch you guys then. See you soon.